Ike is a security administrator for a large financial organization. He is responsible for ensuring the organization's digital assets are protected from potential threats. Today, he has been assigned a critical task to enable tenant restrictions for their Microsoft 365 environment. Ike wants to ensure that users are only allowed to log into their sanctioned M365 environment while preventing them to log into any personal or third-party M365 accounts. Let's see how Ike uses Sky High Security's SEC platform to implement this policy. The tenant restriction rules in Sky High support sanctioned cloud services that include AWS, Box, Google, Dropbox, Slack, and in Ike's use case, M365. To configure the M365 tenant restriction, Ike simply configures the rule with the Azure Directory ID and any approved M365 email domains that are allowed to be logged into. To make sure that the tenant restrictions are being enforced, Ike asks one of his test users to try and log in with an M365 account that is not approved. As you can see, when the user attempts to log in, M365 responds back and reports that this account cannot be used for access, thus restricting the login. On a second attempt, this time the user uses an M365 email account that has been approved and configured in the tenant restriction rule. This time we can see that the account is accepted and the user is able to successfully log in. In today's fast-paced and interconnected world, organizations need robust security measures to protect their sensitive data. Sky High Security's SSE platform, with its tenant restriction rules, offers a vital layer of defense ensuring that access to sanctioned cloud services remains secure and tightly controlled. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo.